Hi, welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do some of the basics of animation. We see we have this this uh, fly or a out of control whoopee cushion, a rogue whoopee cushion or balloon flying around. So what we want to do is just create this simple animation and through creating something like this so simple, we learn a lot about animation. So let's get into it. All I did was open up a blank document and what I want to do is change the workspace. So where you see the word essentials, you want to click on it and go down to an or right there to animator. So right now we have the animator style, the um, format where everything, you know, it's pretty much really helpful for us and it's all the things we'd like in an animator um, atmosphere. So what we want to do is just give us a little bit more screen real estate by collapsing all these items, just hitting that fast forward button, uh, bringing them down to size. And <clears throat> if you see that they have words, you can just go in between the windows and just collapse it further to give you just the icon view. So all right, now that we have everything set up, we have a lot of real estate, we have our timeline at the top, we have our motion editor in the middle, and we have our stage below and this is where we are going to do all our animation so the tool that I want to select is our brush tool we have the color and we have the stroke here but with the brush tool it only brings out the fill color so right here we have the size of the brush and we also have the shape which isn't too important to know right now but just to let you know you know there are options in drawing your items so I have one frame I'll just create this starting point which is kind of like a pop. We have this pop motion going. Now that I've created my first frame, I want to create another frame and the way I want to do that is by pressing F7. F7 will create a blank keyframe. So I'm just going to select in my timeline and press F7. Now F7, like I said, creates a blank frame. So anything that you had before is not you don't see it it's gone or it's not gone but it's in the first frame it's it's out of our view and this is where onion skin comes into play onion skin gives us the ability to see previous frames so when we are animating we can have an idea of where our item was in the last frame so from here this gray was my last frame and the darker of course is my latest frame. So if I just press F7 again, now I can start to animate this uh, and having an idea of where everything is. So you just saw that that flower or that starting uh, frame go away. That's because the onion skin the onion skin has a limit um, that you set yourself. You can uh, get all of the frames of animation or you can set a specific amount that you want. Right now it goes two frames prior to where I currently uh, reside. Or two frames in the front or two frames in the back. And the way that you change it is just holding onto the handles and you can expand or contract the amount of frames that you see. So that's onion skin. Let's move on to the onion skin outline. Onion skin outline is exactly the same way, but it uses an outline instead of that uh, kind of transparent version of the last frame. One of the problems with the outline, of course, is that usually your first layer has this green um, color as an outline, which is really ugly and doesn't help us all the time because, you know, white, a white background this bright green is just makes it hard to see so what you want to do is you want to right click on your layer and you want to go to the properties and in the properties you can go to the outline color and change it to something more appropriate like uh, like blue why not so we have this blue color which is a lot easier to see in my opinion but of course you saw you can change it to any color that you so desire so F7 again and now we have this outline going on so I'm just going to animate this a little more, just adding all the animation. Now, somebody thought of, and uh, the people who created Adobe, they said, you know, what would be really cool if we can anim if we can edit 
multiple frames in the same in the stage all at the same time. So they came up with the uh, edit multiple frames. So if I select this, everything within these uh, braces will be able to, I can edit them. So let's say if I go to this frame here, uh, frame 15, what I will see is frames uh, prior to 15 and, and frames in front of frame 15. So if you look down here, it looks like all these frames have uh, are being seen. So I'm going to use my selection tool. And every time I, I can select individual um, frames to edit them. So that's how we do that. We have these individual, that's how we edit multiple frames. Very useful. Uh, also, we have this button right here, which says, you know, always show marker. You know, that's up to you. Uh, anchor onion skin which is selected by default you can have uh, two onions five onions or you can onion your entire animation so you see every single thing so let me unselect and to take things off is of course you just unselect the button that you pressed now um, you see I have one frame open uh, not open but blank and I don't need it anymore so one thing that you want to use is uh, or have the ability to remove more is to remove frames. So what you want to do is right click on the frame you don't want and just click remove frame. But that can get uh, a little tiresome. Also, before I show you the shortcut to removing frames, you want to uh, select multiple frames. What you do is select your initial frame and hold shift and select the frame that you do want to remove and it'll select a range and from there you can press shift F5 which will remove those frames but I don't want to remove those frames I'll just press shift F5 on that last frame which removes it so now we know how to remove frames one another important item in your animation let's go over to the properties button inside of the properties one thing we want to change make sure your stage is selected in the properties there is the frames per second. Right now I have it at a low frames per second because I want this animation to show inside of this movie because I think this movie is running at 5th or my recording is running at 15 frames per second. So 12 frames per second is good for me but usually you want to stay up there at 30 frames per second to get this crisp, realistic, uh, very uh, fluid motion. 12 frames per second is you know nice for video games and well some video games not even. but this is a very important thing to have also you have the color of your stage you can change it right there you know don't really need to but here we go so that's uh, two important things that you want to know about Mo really important frames per second really useful you know you know there you go frames per second so you know how to remove do all this stuff how to look at your previous item so I'm just drawing this fly but of course you can draw something more complicated uh, but that's it for the animation. Let's see how what it looks like. And there we have our fly, or like I said, rogue whoopee cushion, just you know, yeah, something like that, balloon. Well, thanks for watching this on Enter Flash tutorial. Make sure you rate, subscribe, comment. Uh, also, go to my website on enterflash.com where you can find more tutorials and click on a sponsor to. Uh, Maybe I can draw some food for this fly, you know, if I can afford, you know, animation is expensive nowadays. You know, I, 15 cents a frame. You believe it? Well, thanks for watching this on Enter Flash tutorial. See you next time. And uh, it's so hard to say goodbye.